ball back behind the eight and move balls he by his pocket. He must have a shot. He might make a combination. He did have a shot. Very bad idea, whatever Shane was thinking. Uh, he got the... He was over. He won the match. He's chopping through a tough rack here. There it is. Stefan Reyes escapes yet again, <laughs> needing to win three games. Great match there. Well, he won the first uh, game, so that puts him in a real good spot. So, Van Boning. Uh... Welcome to our video on the epic battle of the Titans between Efren Race and Shane Van Boning. Both Race and Van Boning are two of the most accomplished pool players of all time, with numerous world championships and accolades under their belts. In this video, we'll be taking a closer look at one of their most memorable matches and examining how these two legends went head-to-head -head in an unforgettable showdown. He overcut it, but it's going in. Now he's falling on a good ball here. The players? First, let's take a closer look at the two players in this epic battle. Ifren Reyes, also known as The Magician, is considered by many to be the greatest pool player of all time. Reyes has won countless world championships throughout his career, including the World Pool Championship, the US Open, and the Derby City Classic. Reyes is known for his incredible shot-making ability and his masterful use of the cue ball to control the table. Shane Van Boning, on the other hand, is one of the most dominant players of his generation. Van Boning has won multiple world championships, including the US Open, the World Pool Masters, and the World Pool Series. Van Boning is known for his consistent play and his ability to make difficult shots look easy. So for the second time, having fallen two behind, he immediately pulls it back to one. The Ocean leads 4-3. The match. The match between Race and Van Boning took place in the finals of the 2015 Derby City Classic Master of the Table event. The Master of the Table event is a multi-discipline competition that includes nine ball, one pocket, and banks. The winner of the event is the player who accumulates the most points across all three disciplines. The final match between Race and Van Boning was a race to three in nine ball. The match was played in a single elimination format, meaning that the winner would take home the championship and the $20,000 first place prize. Well, you got a ball in play there, but... The match begins. The match got off to a slow start, with both players struggling to find their rhythm in the early stages. The first few games were marked by missed shots and uncharacteristic errors from both Race and Van Boning. However, as the match progressed, both players began to settle in and find their form. Reyes took the lead early on, winning the first two games and putting himself in a strong position to close out the match. Van Boning fought back, however, winning the next two games to even the score at 2-2. The match was now tied, and tensions were high as both players battled for control of the table. He's got a pass. <laughs> That's a good shot. It wasn't it was. free, as you see. The final game. The final game of the match was a tense and dramatic affair, with both players making incredible shots and displaying nerves of steel under pressure. Reyes got off to a strong start, taking an early lead and putting the pressure on Van Boning to make a comeback. Reyes, however, was up to the challenge. He made several incredible shots to stay in the game, including a difficult bank shot on the six ball that kept him alive. As the game progressed, both players continued to make difficult shots and put the pressure on their opponent. The score remained tight, with neither player able to pull away and take control of the match. Efren, but he's gonna do that. He's going behind the seven and the nine. 
or whatever that ball is. Good shot. Mm. The turning point. The turning point in the match came in the final few racks. Shane Van Bonings had a chance to close out the match and take home the championship, but he missed a critical shot on the four ball that gave Van Boning an opening. Ray seized the opportunity, making a difficult combination shot to take the lead and put himself in position to win the match. From there, he closed out the game and the match, winning 3-2 and taking home the championship. It's over, he won the match. He's chopping through a tough rack here. There it is. Stefan Reyes escapes yet again, <laughs> needing to win three games. Great match there. Conclusion. The match between Efren Reyes and Shane Van Boning was an epic battle of the Titans, with both players displaying incredible skill and determination. Although Van Boning ultimately fell short, the match showcased his incredible shot-making ability and his mastery of the cue ball. Reyes, on the other hand, demonstrated his consistency and ability to stay focused under pressure. This match will be remembered as one of the greatest matches in the history of pool, and it serves as a testament to the skill and dedication of both Race and Van Boning. Fans of the sport will continue to look back on this match with admiration and appreciation for the incredible performances put on by these two legends of the game. The effort will be breaking, needing to win three racks in a row. So Van Boning captures game number two. Heffern's good at running one. Yep. But the big problem is what I said earlier. Thank you for watching our video on the epic battle of the Titans between Efren Race and Shane Van Boning. We hope you enjoyed this closer look at one of the greatest matches in the history of pool. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. I'm so excited, they're kicking over the Astrid's. Brilliant shot. Played it. That was deliberate. Yeah. Settle down, please. Oh, this is a Oh, God. I am not